and improved. Uh, this is season two, episode nine. My name is Ashima. This is Score Unknown. Say hello. Hello. And uh, we make drum and bass music, loads of bass music, growly, foghorn, wobbly, rollers, do it all. Drum and bass, trip hop. All of it, Ableton, bang, that's what we do. Right, episode nine, yeah. what are we talking about? We spent so long setting this up, we don't actually have any content. <laughs> um, well, it's uh, lockdown again, so we're back I to know. Uh, this remote yeah. setup. We're which, trapped uh... in our studios, which are definitely what is in the background. <laughs> <laughs> we got our green screens working. I'm so hey. stoked, man. This is the most excited I've ever been in a Stonks cast. Like, we got the green screen working. I have a green screen behind me. He has a green screen behind me. The sofa is yellow because <laughs> blue is too close to green. It's been a great day, though. I've actually had some success. Right, what's your week been all about, then? What have you been um, doing? Final mixes of the EP. Busy, 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 busy. Ah, uh, yes. New EP out uh, December 5th? 3rd? 3rd. So it's December, December 3rd, 3rd, and we are announcing on Monday, because uh, that's when that boom, post boom. is going out. So Adapt and Survive, our next drum and bass EP uh, as Stonks, uh, will be coming out on December the 3rd, and will be announced, well, now I guess, but now. also tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, like, I accept I've announced it, but yeah, uh, so uh, it's going to be a big, big, gnarly boy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so we're dropping the the artwork and a teaser for the single tomorrow, right? That's what we're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll be doing a teaser for the single. I don't know if we should drop, should we drop the name of the single in this here Stonks Cars? No. Nah. Oh, should we leave him? Should we leave him? All right, okay. Nobody gets anything. It's called... Nah, I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to give... Oh, no. Oh, no. I just saw myself. I saw myself peak. I've oh, got, to, uh, no, no, no. got to keep an eye on that. It's all right. I've got the OBS levels in front of me, so uh, it awesome. should be all right. Do you reckon this runs on a 32-bit floating point? Do you reckon it's all right? Mm, <laughs> probably not, no. Uh, but uh, it'll be fine. Just pretend it's fine. Oh, it's probably fine. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so... Uh, if anyone's... About? If anyone's watched any other episodes, they'll know that nothing's ever fine. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's always the, broken, so... This is the most fine it's ever been on there. But we've we've uploaded every episode in between. We've never, like, except for the last one where we were literally stuck in, in some kind of in horror the void. realm. <laughs> when you're setting up green screens, you can really... And if, if you set up green screens and you've also done, like, dissociative mind drugs in the past, it's a really bad <laughs> mixture. Bad idea. Yeah, you can take yourself to some... Uh, you don't want to wander off this astral plane too easily, do you? <laughs> no, anyway, keep I digress. Entering the, you, you had it set up quite nicely earlier, though, with the uh, continual void of yourself behind you. I like yeah, that yeah, one. with fingers in my that's head. Fun. I don't know. Have you seen the uh, Have you seen the actual social post that's gone out for this stonks cast? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Go and have, a quick, have a look on your phone or something just while you're on here. It's just... Hey, hello, horse. We've got oh, the mighty Atom. On? Look, check it out. Atom, check it out. Look at this. Look, look, look how good it looks. Uh, I can't promise maybe. you content will be any better. Or maybe we're not even streaming. Who knows? But I feel like it looks really good. He's, so, he's galloped over and lost a shoe in the process. <laughs> I once went to a festival and lost both of my shoes on the uh, on the first day of the festival and then had them thrown at me by a very angry girl whose tent apparently I fell into one night on the last day. And she just like, well, at least she found was, you and got, got your shoes yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Good. I was sitting down, like waiting to leave. And uh, these shoes just flew over like mm. the yeah, a couple of tents and a small hedge and just like literally one hit me in the head and the other one like knocked my beer over, which I fully deserved for whatever I'd done. Oh. Yeah, I know. But yeah, so that's a yeah, good, yeah. uh, good shoe related uh, analogy for uh, not that. What's it called when you tell a story? Anecdote. Is it anecdote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You have that. We should get a dictionary guy on this, like uh, like that mate you on Countdown. So whenever I say things I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> right. So we've got the new EP coming out. Uh, which is should we talk a bit about it because we're not really doing any like web page stuff so let's just chat about the ep so what is yeah the... i wanted to chat about that um mql oh what was no that? not mql the oh, was the, that the um the, what was it called oh what the audio format the... yeah oh yeah let's M have a what was let's it have a chin wag about that mqa let me get my phone quick MQA. i'll bring it i'll bring it up on a thing i'll get my brain out Hang I think on. it was mq yeah it was mqa yeah 
Yeah, talk about the EP first, and I'll bring. I'll find some stuff about this while we're doing. Nice one. So I can do it. Uh, so yeah, so if we're not tra- uh, dropping any track names, I'll be careful not to. So I'll just sort of des- describe the feels of the tracks. Otherwise, he'll nut me through the screen. <laughs> you see that? Look at all that shine on that forehead, man. Like he's been polishing that. <clears throat> um, aggressive, so, aggressively. Uh, we've got. I'll, I'll try my best to do, do like a Pictionary thing. Where we're like, what's that game where you can't say the word? <laughs> so yeah, uh, Pictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we've got one track that's sort of a very heavy uh, singular sound design idea. It's sort of like it all based around... I'm going to try and give you lead-ins to work out which one I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's all based around like a hand drum, uh, the bass. So it's got the... Uh, yeah, that was the one that we did. We did the live stream, the nine, yeah. ten hour live stream. Oh, uh, was that was that the one you started in your marathon live stream then? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. so yeah, if you look back in our uh... someone might have seen that. Yeah, Some they'll be gone off Twitch now, won't they? But um, yeah. and they don't go to YouTube. We'll have to get partners. Hey, Coral possible. Fiber, hello. Yeah, we got the green hey, scene sorted. On? Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, this is me. honestly, I bet you never thought it would look like this. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, uh, we have actually evolved. <laughs> Uh, next, quality uh, might be worse but <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah the quality might be worse because we're just chatting to each other now anyway uh so yeah uh one of the tracks is a really heavy sound design track uh that's got uh it's 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 kind of i think it stands out amongst our tracks because it's it's got a whole different idea it's like you built it differently because you started it off yeah it was got, a weird one yeah it's got i mean what what really in the process of it sort of brought you did you was it the hand drum first did you get that sound of building yeah, it was, around it because yeah, i do it was that just, quite often it was just what shall i do in this live stream and we we're all chatting and a bunch of people that were we we're all just chatting and uh, 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 i don't know what should we do and we decided yeah. just to do sound design so i just messed around for about an hour or so doing sound design and that's yeah. what we came up with so in that's essentially end, sort of really, almost mm, coming from a mud pie session isn't it yeah, pretty much going straight from mud pie into writing rather than putting it in a folder for six months like usually happens. Yeah, I know. So, I'm uh... I'm all right about that, but the only reason I'm all right about that is because I just carry every idea, no matter how bad, through to fruition and release it as well on my... <laughs> if you listen to Ashima, it's every track I've ever thought of. <laughs> it's not like... There's, there's no... some merit to that. Yeah, there's some merit I, yeah. to that, though. Like, a lot of people struggle yeah, to finish tracks. you get thick skin quick. <laughs> yeah, you just got to finish track. You just got to finish, even if it's a... Uh... A uh, uh, less than perfect idea. Yeah, I don't helps. think I've ever had a perfect idea. I think that's the issue. So you just got to run with what your brain <clears throat> provides you. <laughs> that's one of the main reasons I struggle to finish tracks, though, because I'm like, right, this could be better. We could make that better, make this better. And it's like, just fucking, sometimes you've got to finish it. You know? Yeah. What is I mean, it? So arts, th- no arts finished. It's all abandoned. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's, I mean, there's probably a hundred sayings around it, isn't it? So yeah, you started off with the hand drum sound, and then we've got uh, we've got a sort of really techy halftime bit in it that's sort of less heavy than our usual halftime bits. It's got more yeah, it's a bit sub movement. It's got a kind of noises of and crunchy and stuff. Yeah, so I wanted to tidy that about? up a bit, but well, I mean, I'm sure you will 18 times before we get it on disc record, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that's uh that's a synopsis of one of the tracks uh another one that we've got is it's only now it's only now that our entire ep could just evade my mind isn't it except for that one track uh we've got live bass we have a Yay! live bass solo in one of them from mr oliver baron uh, who is sitting in front of me? Uh, he only complained about his shoulder for like a day after us as well. I thought it'd be a week. <laughs> it, it was. It was quite. Yeah. Quite ankle, but so he was uh, working. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a really nice airy track. It's got uh, one big bass note, really, doesn't it? And then it's. Uh, it's one of and... the weirdest arrangements. I hate the arrangement, and I wrote yeah. the arrangement. Um, <laughs> but it, it's just really weird. It's just like does a thing, stops does a thing slightly evolved stops does mm. a thing more evolved again it's just the same you uh, see i love that 16, that's what you used to shout bar. at me for in my tracks is i was just like a a kind of the same oh, more a, a but made a new line <laughs> and i still uh, but do it that works. <laughs> yeah it works it does work it totally works sometimes you don't always have to there's another one of our tracks that goes a b c d e b d f or something oh, yeah. isn't it in the sections it's just yeah, like ah, there's like an different new drop new drop yeah, 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 new drop, yeah. new drop. So uh, we've got this it's one. It's got the live notes. bass solo in the end, and it's got I've gone in and used isotope brake tweaker to uh, to muck around with the drums. So they've got a super like 
glitch break Corey feel rather than a raggery break Corey feel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's like real um, cl- clicky and grainy yeah. as opposed to... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. like that uh, in synopsis would be uh, our sort of, uh, what would you call it? It's not really the filler. It's more like the, the, the contrast, the breath, isn't it, in the middle of it? Because the rest of it's real tight, bassy stuff. And then uh, yeah, much. and this one opens out and it's a bit more instrumentation. But the bass solo. We got Morph end... as well. Hello, Morph. Oh, what's going on? Bird. That's three people. That's, I, I, and I feel, I feel more confident in this environment. No, what's wearing... wrong with What's wrong with his audio? Is something wrong oh, with no. your audio? Really? It says yeah. it's it says it's fine on mine. We'll find out in a sec. And we got yeah. Nathan as well. Hello. No, I, I don't what's know what's wrong with, with the audio. audio. Oh, the audio crackly. Crackly. <laughs> it's click clicky and crackly as fuck. Ah. Yeah. Sounds fine to me, which is weird. That's really bizarre, isn't it? Uh, do you think that's a sample rate thing within? Um... Well, Zoom's picking it up fine, but OBS must be doing something weird with Zoom, right? Yeah, I wonder what it's doing, because I can't hear that. Cheers, um... Nafunk. We got the green screens. Yeah, Nafunk's saying he screen. likes the background. Nice. Uh, I am unsure what to do about that, because it's not really what... Uh, where would I um, find the... Go on. It might Let's be, it might be a live fix. Yeah, Help me. <laughs> it, it might be a buffer issue. Um, what are you using on OBS to pick up? your audio uh audio input capture i could try asio input capture yeah also um because zoom is also using that same driver isn't it to pick yeah. up the same audio that's what i'm thinking let me try asio input capture used to work so let me just see if i can see it do anything with that i don't uh, know what I'll... we did last time cool i'll tell you what you uh you uh give them a little chat about some of the uh the rest of the tracks i'll mute myself for a sec diddle around and then uh and we can keep it rolling all right all right. Yeah, well, you cool. ch- chatted about track one and track two, track three. So the other one is the actual title EP. No. Yeah, so you got title, title EP title, yeah. and... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the single. The single will be out tomorrow. Right. Um, okay. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to go silent for a bit. I'll leave you in the and... capable hands of Ollie. Yeah. Uh, Nate Funk has just said he thought that I was in a fancy studio. So the green screen is working. <laughs> no, it's just green screen, man. Look, I could... It's, it's still in my crappy studio <laughs> um yeah so we got the title track which is uh proper nasty we kind of just real laid into the the noisier um neuro joe ford noises um but yeah it's, it's a pretty damn heavy ep this one i'm looking forward to it and it's going to be uh pretty much a year since our first ep so it should be a big you might do it during over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm really looking forward to this EP. We've been working quite hard on it. It's got some of the best mixes, I think, um, so far. They're real wide tracks. And, um, yeah, just everything that we've been learning over the year all the plugins we've been picking up, it's all kind of coming together with this one. So looking forward to that. We'll be dropping a little teaser tomorrow and the artwork and everything tomorrow for that one. So that should be fun. So one of the things I wanted to talk about whilst he's fiddling around is something I don't know if anyone has heard about, but we've been chatting about. It's MQA and it's another type of audio. Oh, what's Nay saying? Oh, nice. You've been listening to the the back catalogue. I'm quite happy with the back catalogue, but we can definitely hear uh, improvements, which I'm also happy about. You know, it's good to know that we're getting better just by finishing tracks and really just having a um, having a focus for what we're after. You know, we're really trying to get that noisier, neuro, dark drum and bass sound down. Um, we're really just kind of focus in on that. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, which is cool. Um, yeah mqa i don't know if any of you guys in the chat have heard about this it is a new type of audio file so you've got flac or mp3 or wav mqa is a new one um and it's got real mixed reviews with people about uh the legit <coughs> sorry the legitimacy of it and the owning rights and stuff so we had a few issues with uh, mp3 back in the day because who actually owns the right to the uh 
like the encryption and the algorithm. So there was like technically a lot of illegal MP3s just because they were encoded with uh, hello licensed encoding. Are you are you helloing me because you're back or not? Yeah, but I don't, I'll have no idea if it's crackling or not. <laughs> well, I can we can ask them. Are you meant yeah, to? Yeah, I suppose we'll just have to ask the audience or phone a friend. Yeah. Hang on. Ashman's back. Still fuzzy. <laughs> still fuzzy. You're still fuzzy. Yeah. Oh, that's really annoying. So anyway, I'll just keep talking about MQA. Yeah. Um, it's a it's based on some neuroscience research, and it's basically meant to be better than FLAC. It's meant to be like the best audio quality. Oh my god, I'm ruining everything now. Um, it's meant to be the best audio quality you can get. And I don't really understand because FLAC is meant to be lossless. WAV is meant to be lossless. So it's a type of compression. Um, oh, Morph remembers the MP3 debacle. Yeah, it was, it was, it's a weird one. And I think it all got tidied up in the end because now we can export MP3 in Ableton and stuff like that. So I think they must have fixed the licensing issues. But this new one, it has all the same problems again. So MQA is meant to be. Yeah, how do you get more lossless? That's the thing that, that I was confused about. M MQA is meant to be better than FLAC, and FLAC is what everyone uses as a lossless compression. So there is still compression going on, arguably. So even lossless is does have some loss. But th what they're saying with MQA, yeah, better compression is, is what I'm thinking more of. It's some kind of... Uh, better compression algorithms, but it's meant to be MP3 sizes with FLAC quality. That's what they're saying. So, um, but you need a special device or app. Compression as in file size. Yeah, that's it. So it's uh, compression as in an MP3 file size, but with FLAC uh, quality audio, apparently. Um, but it all depends on having devices that have the decoding capability of it. So it's again becomes a licensing issue with uh, who actually pays um, to allow you. Yeah. Do you, do you need the hardware? That's it. Should you need the hardware or is it just going to be software compatible? That's the thing that no one's quite sure of yet. And they were also saying it's going to be bad for um, uh, piracy. And I didn't quite understand why, but I think it's to do with how they're holding uh, the information inside the MQAs. So it's a weird one. So there's a there at the moment, there's a range of certified playback devices. So uh, the ROG series stuff, uh, is that Asus, Asus ROG, uh, LG have some, some things with it, uh, Sony, um, and then there's a bunch of like digital radios that can already do it. I, can't, I don't really recognize many of the uh, names of them at all. So I don't know why these people can do it and other people can't do it. Um, and I don't know when or how and if it will be integrated into things like Spotify. Um, but it's it compares it to Tidal Masters. So Tidal is one of those hi-fi, high-quality audio, audio mm -hmm. file streaming services. Um, so it's an interesting one, really. We've been reading about it. We don't know too much about it yet. Um, I don't. We don't know how we can get our songs into it. Uh, it's just a different encoding, basically. So um, yeah, it's a new one that's come on the scene. I think it's been around for a few years. But uh, I think I had heard of it. Apologies for my audio quality. I've just that's I, right. I didn't want to I don't leave know one man again. <laughs> I can't tell if you're back or not or what. Um, Morphs just said it's about 15, 20 years too late. I mean, yeah, this is the thing. MP3 is taken over. No one cares anymore. Like, yeah. it's a bit weird to be having a new audio file all of a sudden. It is strange, um, isn't it? It seems almost unnecessary. Oh, apparently you're fine now. What? Don't know. Your green <laughs> but my light's gone green... out and my green screen's going. <laughs> 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 Hang on, two seconds. Oh, it's always got to be something. It's all right, I'm charging it. Don't worry, lads, I'm charging it. Oh, it's all right. Things are That's better. Fixed. Um, so it's okay. Oh, no, no. It's okay if you talk quietly. When you talk quietly, you don't fuzz. Okay. So can, can you turn on. your input down on the yeah. focus right, maybe? Get my input down. I don't know. How's that? Oh, I mean, you sound, you sound quiet to me, but... Yeah. 
I don't know. You might have to turn your volume up. Let us know in the chat. Yeah. How he sounds. Do do do. Hello. Can you hear my voice? Can you hear my voice? Is it any less? The only other thing I was thinking I could do is uh, check my sample rate on my focus right and make sure it's actually set to the right sample rate. But now they okay. can't hear you. Oh really? Yeah, or can't really hear you. You're you're too quiet. Oh right, so they're just really fussy. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me boost the input gain again. <laughs> right. Oh dear. <laughs> there we go. Now you're really loud. <laughs> That's this fine. It's be... fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. I, I'm saying hang you're on. loud. I don't know what oh, they're right. saying. Okay, fair enough. Well, that looks. I mean, I'm only just going into the yellow on on mine. And you're not clippy for me, so I don't know. So weird. It is weird. So can you remember what else we were saying about MQA? I was basically just losing my mind about how can you have anything better than flak? Like, mm. it's lossless. Yeah, Nafunk says, don't worry about it. It's fine. We can't have anything going right. Yeah, no, that's Just it. have a little bit crackly. It's fine. Easy, it? Yeah, we'll have a little crackly crackly. It's really funny because we used to get the crackle on the Zoom call, but not on the stream, didn't we? Yeah. That's so bizarre. Oh, I don't know what's changed. So anyway, now that I'm back, yeah, MQA, it seems strange that suddenly there's been this leap forward in technology and compression or something. It seems like some there'll be a cost. <laughs> yeah, so the other thing they were talking about is uh, it was going to be bad for streaming because of copy protection and stuff, and I didn't quite understand why. Mm. Um, but there well, was yeah. something about... Is it something um, about the tagging or metadata or something? Yeah, I, I think the point was like when you have these new technologies, they need to be licensed by someone. Hmm. So the manufacturers of recording equipment, like uh, your focus right or my motu or whatever, if yeah. they need to have if they need to process it, then they're gonna have to pay whoever it is who owns the technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um sounds like they're just moving computation to hardware stands to reason you get better compression yeah that's what morph yeah. says yeah. if they're moving it but if they're moving it to hardware then it's it's people are gonna have to pay every single one down the line is gonna have to pay ableton will have to pay in order to export in mqa yeah so whoever's made mqa is gonna get paid like a thousand times along the chain right do you think it's merc mercuriado <laughs> i would not be surprised the man who and then morphs the just come in with with the most important thing which is just support o open source always yeah which is which is you know blender and gimp and everything it's just as open source as yeah. you can get it I'd makes be lost sense without GIMP. No. i would be no, absolutely man. lost without it uh, that is the point and i'm getting into it now as well so it's like it's nice that you have that constant open source kind of thing yeah and if you want to spend more time you can build upon it yourself yeah. or just find people in the community that uh that are interested and it's the same with max for life now like i want to actually start looking in that and anything that ableton can't do you can make it do you know well that's the thing we have it, we have max you have the ability to do that so well did you only find yeah. out that you had the full max the other day didn't you i accidentally <laughs> opened it i don't know what i pressed but max actually opened i was like whoa 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 yeah because i always this? thought it was just like a max for live like in between kind of thing but uh, yeah i thought it allowed you to open it. Yeah, I thought it allowed you to open Max devices, but no, you've got full Max eight point something, I think, on there. Nice. So uh, it's like yeah. the uh, it's like that cake walk that comes with a bit of Melodyne in it, like the main bit of Melodyne, the essential. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. That's it. You actually have some. Oh, oh you're I phasing think, in and out yeah, of reality. No, I, just, I, I think if I just <laughs> sit down and shut up, it should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, do you like all my guitars though? At least that's worked. <laughs> Yeah, you've got a nice guitar collection there. I've lost my guitar collection, but uh, I've replaced That's it with lots right. of hard hardware like that I'll never lot, use. Yeah, it looks like you've gained a lot of space, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it looks like you, the boat's looking really nice. <laughs> yeah, it goes goes much deeper back there than ever before. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I'm enjoying so, um, this anyway. <laughs> yeah, what else What else have we been up to? What else is there to chat about? Um, Sonox um, have bare deals at the moment. Yep, yep. So if we're going to do a little VST, a little ad hoc VST uh, the, session. Uh, what is what have you got? You got the inflator, the trans mod, like actually, literally all of their stuff, which is usually hundreds of pounds, is like up to seventy five percent off on plugin yeah. boutique and in other places at the moment. Um, it's Sonox Oxford stuff's high end mastering, really, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, um, although you use some of it as mixed channel stuff as well. Well, yeah, I kind of use it as mastering on the channels. 
Yeah, I mean that mix. makes sense because you can master just mix the bus, buses. mix yeah. mix bus mastering, isn't it? Um, so if you've ever looked at any of that stuff and been like, "Fuck, and can't afford this because it's really expensive," hmm. um, it is actually on offer at the moment. Um, yeah, what did we get? We got the inflator for about thirty-five quid, didn't we? Thirty-five quid for the inflator, yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff. The I I used to really like their trans mod. Oh, what was that? I looked 32. at that. Is that a drum shaper? bus? Yeah, yeah, drum bus does it now. So yeah. that's just one of those things that's uh, the inflator is just one of those things that Ableton doesn't have. Yeah, um, you can make an inflator by like putting an EQ before a multi band compressor, maybe. Yeah. It's kind of the same it's thing. It's doing a couple of other sort of things as well that you just. It does it's a bit just like have... trying to emulate trash in in Ableton stock. You can emulate a trash preset, but you can't emulate the actual flexibility of being able to move it around within the actual VST itself. Yeah, I mean, for me, I wouldn't bother with any of the uh, Sonox EQs. Um, or just like... any other EQ than. No. I mean, if you're really fussy, you can like make sure you get one with like linear phase but you've just yeah a lot of people way. like like the fab filter eq yeah, but yeah the lot of fab um, filter one just chuck over oversampling on eq8 it's fine yeah it's if just it doesn't good, do really. it control d and it'll do it yeah do do, I mean? yeah it really you, is if, you, if you want it like if you want it to be like arsh and proper scoop out your tunes just ba 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 10 of them yeah don't take a minute i think I think the one thing that I like about uh, Ableton's inbuilt stuff is it's not CPU intensive. That's so true. You can do that. You can put 10 of them and your computer doesn't fucking set on fire. <laughs> uh, whereas most third party stuff is a little more. Yeah, open anything by isotope. <laughs> yeah, just fuck. <laughs> Nightmare, isn't it? Oh, man. So, yeah, I'll be using Inflator on the, uh, on the mixes of the new EP and we're pretty much yeah. there. I think I finished off the first track uh, this morning mm -hmm. and then we've got uh three more to go and they're all pretty much done really it's just final mixy mixy bits yeah, and man. now i'll be putting inflator on everything and have to remix it all because <laughs> nice one <And> then... <laughs> <I can. laughs> well that's the issue isn't it is inflator will change the sort of sonic shape of it won't it so you'll have to go in yeah. and do a bit of remixing but i think it will be worth it in the end i basically inflate it and then have to eq out the bits which i just made bigger yeah that's fine it's fine <laughs> we can deal with that um, what else has there been this week? So, we had, uh, we picked I completed... our... Oh, go on, you do your... I was going to say, we picked our competition winner. Oh, yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, they have not do. replied to our email. <laughs> oh. So, uh, I sent... Uh, so... What am I going to do? I know. Uh, so, there's, uh, there's a uh, lovely person from Valencia who is uh, owed one Stonks Halloween t-shirt, and I have sent an email out. I will send a follow-up one after three days, as is per my procedure. Uh, <laughs> well yeah mate that's what i've got trello on i've got like nfar at the end of everything like i'm making sure we've got accurate like working records as well so, so. yeah yeah um sense. but yeah so our lucky halloween winner was picked but uh i don't want to name drop until we've like spoken to her and stuff so like we we'll just but yeah we have picked a winner and we are awaiting uh reply so they will be getting a stonks halloween t-shirt uh, that was kind of cool as well. It was a good way to get some. We got like fifty Spotify followers out of that for. Nice. That so they'll all be. Oh no, me other lights just gone. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll be. They'll be. Um, getting a ping when the new EP comes out. So that's all good. That's all yeah, groovy. Yeah, exactly. So uh, yeah, we've got uh, our track. I mean, we. I've got enough to talk about that we can just do a bit of a roundup. Um, I've got our track uh, Mindset is about to hit the uh, leave the dreaded sub 1000 plays on Spotify and that's section. just coming up to a uh, uh, a year old now yeah yeah it's just about a year old and we didn't we did a lot of setup work before um, oh god people can really see that I'm just uh, in a room <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah we did a lot of setup work so basically how we how we structured this project or this attempt um was that we were going to do a whole load of setup work before we really started pushing anything so we only really started actually pushing everything when did you start the youtube channel because that's really when i started three months ago yeah yeah it was back in july july <coughs> july yeah july is when i started july is when i ran that decent facebook ad if i stay right here uh july is when i ran that decent facebook ad that ah, got us all the likes <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, when I ran that, we were getting that was our first like success in like pushing this. Was we got a really good yeah. Uh, we got a really good rate on our likes campaign. So we got our uh thousands or something likes and then yeah that's when we started pushing the instagram and the youtube and everything so all of our growth really has been in the last three months which is pretty a lot much easier to tell yourself when you think things are going really badly because <laughs> it's like I, I feel like we've been pushing everything for a year sometimes but it's not it's like we were laying the foundations for like nine months <laughs> Yeah, totally. We did. We were just working on back catalogue, working on getting everything working, you know. Uh, lockdown amidst all of that, so... Working on ever getting everything working, and I'm standing it with it. <laughs> yeah, but, that, you know, we've had lockdown amidst all of this. If we didn't, we'd be going places, yeah, we've, we've played gigs, to... we would have done way more. So. Yeah, exactly. So well, that's the thing. I mean, it has been a, uh, a near world, at least world-changing, if not world... Uh, morphing i don't want to say ending on the <laughs> uh, but we're changing uh pandemic and situation so i'm actually quite proud of the both of us that we're both still sitting here yeah maybe my audio is a little bit janky but we've got the green screens i made a telly studio in my room and he made one on his yep. boat like that's what yep. we did during lockdown is horse has just a... come through and said we've also built our community well over lockdown though yeah we've it's we've got a nice community in the discord channel yeah. now um oh there goes my light <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I love it. <laughs> Do you know what? This is way more fun. Because we've got the border on it, it's now just funny when things go wrong. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, is that all your electrics? <laughs> no, I'm back. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, I don't this so is that. Now. That's the new, um, the darkness returns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's the, uh, that crappy, USB hub I was talking about. Oh no. You just can't just get goes. anything that works, in it? No. Oh yes, yeah, so there we go. We've got some more things to talk about. You got some new equipment on oh, Saturday, didn't like, you? Yeah, but uh, so I'm gonna hold fire with my like original because <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. So uh yeah, uh, I was gonna talk about this and I can talk about it again now because it is is it actually working. Uh so I have been seeing all these little trap producers uh, <laughs> online. Um, not that they've T-Rexes. Um, <laughs> most of them have them down here. Uh, but yeah, they've been tapping away on their drum pads and I'm like, well, I like feeling cool. Uh, so I got myself... Oh, shall I tell you what? Shall I get it? Hang on. Hang go on, on, go on. Get it. Show and tell. Show and tell. <laughs> and whenever I'm looking at the drum pads, I always want one of the proper NPCs. I watch that Spin Scott guy, if any of you have seen him. He's just like, oh, does live jungle. Money out Focus right. <laughs> I was just oh, saying about the um, Spin Scott. He's the guy I always watch with NPC, oh, yeah. just the live jungle. Yeah, he's, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> he's like fucking fingers. Oh, mate, he's so good. <laughs> right. So uh, anyway, um, this is a bit of a. Basically, I wanted something with drum pads, uh, but I wanted something with a MIDI keyboard on it as well. And it was a bit like uh, one way or the other. You could either have sixteen drum pads. Um, Oh, well, they were just really expensive. I can't really remember why, but I ended up going for. <laughs> and it was there was some reason. It was like uh, I wanted sixteen drum pads, but I wanted it on a keyboard, and all the other keyboards only had like eight drum pads, mm. uh, which you can't really. And the M Audio one. Uh, the M Audio one, the Akai MPK Mini, uh, that's only got eight drum pads. Although now that I've played on this a bit, I can see the benefit of having bigger drum pads. Mm. <laughs> Because these ones, you can get it, but I suppose it will make me really good at it, at least. Anyway, I've not even unveiled what I have. So um, I <laughs> had a look around, and I found the best uh, value thing was about 55 quid. And, Show me uh, the toy! Show me the a, toy! Yeah, Show me the, the toy! One, but this is the Novation Launch Key uh, MK2. So this is the smallest, cheapest Novation uh, keyboard. Oh, that's much better, isn't it? Should I just do the rest of it like that? It's much better if I'm just a keyboard. Uh, so, so how much was that? Cheaper. That was like so refurb. Quid. Refurb, 55 quid, which is pretty banging. And I did have a little issue with it at first. I'm not really sure what happened. Uh, but the drum pads started multi-triggering. So you were like getting multi-midi messages essentially through the drum pads. Uh, so I got really, really angry and sent Focusrite a really <laughs> quite, like, quite a scathing, like an email that would have taken the paint off walls. 
Like, I think at one point I was like, how pathetically disappointing it is that I am right. <laughs> uh, it's been it's been really hard recently. I'm not even. I'm an old customer service man, so I'm not even usually like that. I just lost my sea biscuit. Uh, so yeah, I sent them a scathing email, and then I put it away and I put it on the shelf, and I was like, whatever. I just won't think about it. I've got like a mix. I'll do other things. And uh, I took it down at the end of the night because I was feeling pretty like happy, and I was like, I wonder if I can get something out of it. And can you I were well down. Fucker, can I get the fucker to replicate the broken behaviour? Like, thank Christ, I sent them videos with it. So I don't know if it just got loads of dust in it in transit or something, and it was just having a funny moment. But it's, it's been, it's been. It was all day though. It was that all day when you yeah. plugged it in. It was all day. Every and time I spoke worse. to you, you're like, I'm trying it it's again, and it better. was. They were all. All the buttons were flashing when you yeah, touched yeah, yeah, one. Yeah. It was like completely yeah. balls. And it, it got worse before it got, it got better, which is why I sort of freaked out and started shouting. Um, but <laughs> since then... That's not like you, been... mate. That's not like you. It's like both of us. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, sorry, Focus, right? Uh, please give us some advertising money. I'm sorry I sent you an email calling you all like, horrible people. I don't think you are because this works now, I think. So uh, I'll send you an apology if it still works at the end of today as well. Because, uh, but yeah. Well, so, they won't uh, get your email till Monday anyway. So <laughs> it's true. But my point was, um, oh, fuck the green screen. My point was uh, <laughs> that refurbs are a really, really good way of if you're stuck indoors and it's locked down and times have got a little bit harder and you've only got, you know, like I know what it's like to be like so poor that you also couldn't buy that. So please don't think I'm being like <laughs> I don't understand that. But it's like it's we're clearly nice not in these. We're, we're not in these studios. This is <laughs> yeah. we're in, like... yeah. in case you had not noticed, my studio keeps <laughs> fucking disappearing in the background. I'm in, I'm in this guy's studio. I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> Wait, move out of the way. Is there a dude in yours? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's got, oh, mate, Ollie's got fucking staff, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing uh, the mixing. Yeah, it's, yeah, he's on it. It's like, Jeff. It's, Jeff's it's mixing fault, the EP like, in the yeah, background. It's, it's his fault. My audio's fucked. Anytime anything goes wrong, just move your chair and we'll fucking blame him, fucking like, Jeff. You fucking dick, Jeff. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you were saying. Yeah, I don't know if the content's any good on this one. Uh, uh, yeah, you were saying so people re no, are really good because they're cheaper but you're getting a uh, a product from the company so it got it's got the warranty at least i can go back to them and be like this isn't yeah. you know this isn't working i'll probably change the wording a little bit now that it has worked for a bit but uh yeah so these I just wanted to do a these headphones for that. are they refurbs yep ah. they were how much are they refurb then how much did you get off them i think i paid about 60 quid for them Wait, there's a way that I can get the light shining off this where it will bring the green screen back. <laughs> Come back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> um, I think they're about 120 quid, these headphones, and I got them off uh, Thomen, I think you got it from. And they oh, were Thomen are really good. Uh, Thomen and Beastock. Yak are both really good. Yak are down yeah. at Brighton. Um, and yeah, I bought these years ago. Um, yeah, refurb. Refurb is nice. good. I'd always go for yeah. refurb. Oh no, look, I'm blurry now. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm utterly and completely convinced with conviction that if I move this keyboard, the entire background will go. <laughs> I'm going to do this and I'll make myself <gasps> unblurry again. Hey! Oh no! Right, I've got to advertise no uh. literally for the rest of the live stream. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I, bet, I bet the three people that watch this are loving it. Uh, Nate, Nate Funk's loving it. He says that's the most ridiculous hack, almost as obtuse as the Rude Goldberg setup. He needs to charge his phone. <laughs> right, anyway, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I've got to stand like this now, otherwise the green street is fine. So now, you have, now they have to sponsor us. Yeah, yeah they have to sponsor you. <laughs> Does it get better? Wait, have they got control of the green screen? Will it get better the closer I move it? No, but it does stay stable. Do you know what now I'm slowly doing? move move it off screen slowly. Bam. It's going. It it's going. Great straight away. <laughs> Bring it back. I love it. Oh, all right, nice. Yeah, cool. We're sorted. Don't worry about it. Look, this looks Silly. like a music tech program, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, as long as you're holding some tech, it's music tech. <laughs> um, So we do have some other releases this month. We just finished up your charity thing. That's all band done. Yeah, so we and, completed... Uh, 
Murphy, Ashima yeah, okay, okay. in on a charity thing. Um, so luckily, uh, I managed to actually scrape together the target from people. Sorry if I had to uh, continuously bug some people and sort of be like, "Oh, you got paid now, did you? Hey, you still got a job?" Woo-hoo! But you have to do that because it's charity. So um, yeah, so we got a two hundred pound target for uh, for Buckinghamshire Mind, uh, which is a local mental health charity that I actually do some volunteer work while I'm. Uh, well, while I'm picking my ass in the studio, because we don't do any work, do we? Uh, so, um, yeah, I've been volunteering. Speak for yourself. <laughs> there it is, face. Uh, so I've been volunteering for Mind for like the last month, two months maybe, and I managed to, to get 200 quid for them uh, for a charity release as well. So thank you so much to everyone who donated uh, for that. Uh, especially shout out to the Mighty Atom who came around and donated twice and, and made up a reasonable chunk of it, to be honest. <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, happy to say that £200 is on its way to a local mental health charity uh, thanks to stonks and music and stuff like that, which is nice, isn't it? Hey. Uh, yeah. so, hopefully, so now yeah. you've got... That That was last month. That's all tied up now. And now Ashima has another release. Yeah. Because thought... you've been you've been sitting on them for ages. Yeah. Well, uh, the Mighty Atom says, no problem, mate. Thank you. Bless. <laughs> nice one. Um, um, yeah, so I've got another uh, rework of my old release. When did London and... Track come out? Um, I think it was like April. April, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometime around there. Um, okay. But when you made it, one of our friends said that it's not, it wasn't long enough. Yeah, yeah. Someone no. said, I want more song. And I'm, as a musician, you can't really not. Uh, if May. It was out in May. Song. April April was oh, SPM. Uh, so I, there were two tracks on it. One was called Urban Rampage, which was like a cinematic grime song rumper pumper that's still Rumpa the working Pumpa title Pumpa which Pumpa i always Pumpa. that's um, all i call it and then uh there was inertia decays which we didn't give a nickname because it was a better song um, so... <laughs> <laughs> kept its name yeah. uh so inertia decays was like a down tempo track and uh, urban rampage was like a cinematic grime track i've now reworked them i've done it vips vip yeah vips mate vips for you uh, I've got a uh, extended version of Inertia Decays for your mate, which has got a full extra minute and a half of strings and instrumentation and lovely stuff like that. And then uh, Urban Rampage, I wrote uh, like an industrial, like New Yorky style breakbeat thing to it at the end. Uh, so I, I don't remember. I don't think I've heard. I don't think I've heard it since you did it a few months uh, back. Yeah, I haven't listened to it. I don't yeah. think anyone else does either. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I've done a full break re- rework of that with loads of like, it's almost like uh, what Adam said was it was like a break beat, kind of like a James Bond theme tune or something. So, uh, hmm. so yeah, uh, I, that it should be coming out. I'm going to put it on distro tonight and then it says you have to put it a week ahead. So, uh, so fi- frozen. 15. <laughs> yeah yeah i can dig that then that gives Coming us a few weeks 15th. it's just like a little mini release the solo projects are like more of like mini releases that we just yeah. continue to build up the playlist and make sure we're always releasing on the socials uh but the ones um, that would be nice if for. you do that on the 15th because then the 26th will be the single i know you said the name there mm. uh 25th 26th will be the single and then we're into december where it'll be the the ep sure, so that fun. gives us Sorry to interrupt you, but because you can't see my like my arm blends into my t-shirt, so it just looks like this keyboard is just floating. Floating. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like yeah, I've got green screen, I've got green screen in front, green screen behind. <laughs> anyway, please uh, continue yeah, yeah, the I... show. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so we've got we'll have we'll have your uh, rework reload out on the fifteenth, and then the twenty sixth or twenty fifth or something like that. We'll have the new stonk single. So mm-hmm. it's a it's yeah. a busy couple of months of releases. Yeah, that'll be a week before the release of the EP, won't it? We'll put up yeah. the uh, the single in the video. So big things to uh, to come. Uh, so I just trying to work out if we keep this running for a little while longer, I can just sort of trail off. No, um, I'm trying to work out what we want to talk about next. Uh, have you seen any um, other were there any... or anything? Yeah, I was going to say, were there any VSTs and stuff that you saw this month? We've got. A weird one on Plugin Boutique. You mm. don't get all the things free. You pick one of the things free. Yeah, because they've they? got the entire elements thing, don't they? And then you so, can only pick one of them. Uh, let me yeah, have a quick look so, on Plugin Boutique and we'll take a look. I can pick it. I can pull it up on here as well. Yeah, you've got Ozone Neutron or Nectar Elements. Now, I would say personally, don't bother with Nectar Elements. Mm, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a one-trick it, pony, isn't it? 
it, yeah, it doesn't give you enough control. It's just like a bunch of sliders for you want more or less pitch correction. It's weird. Yeah. Um, Although Ozon, the DS is really good in it. Yeah, I suppose. I didn't think about that because we've got the RX. Yeah, yeah. So Wait, I don't I'm think about that. It. Yeah, that might be good. I think we're cool. Slowly lower it. My arm is getting so tired. <laughs> so I'd go for Ozone or Neutron if I was uh, anyone else getting these. We have both now. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what would you say? Um, I would probably say that because people spend a lot more time learning how to mix, so like people who aren't as far along in the learning process will know more about mixing than they will mastering. I feel so maybe mm -hmm. ozone's the better one to get. I think if you're ozone sort of like has beginner. more of like your expanders, your spatial imaging. Um, yeah. Whereas Neutron is more of your compressions and EQs. Well, that's the thing, so, isn't it? Stuff that you might already be a bit more familiar with than sort of shifting yeah. things around and like stereo imaging and stuff like that. If you've got an elements thing that can do that for you, I think that it's going to be... I think people struggle more getting... You hear people in the Ableton groups and they're like, oh, you know, I've got a really nice mix, but when I play it next to the tracks out there, it's just not the same. And that's all mastering, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> mastering is actually good. Yeah, if you've got a good, word on that. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, it, it's tricky with mastering. Mastering has always been and it always will be a dark art. The real real thing about mastering which makes it so tricky is you sh they a mastering engineer should not be changing anything on your track mm. as far as the mix is concerned. Yeah. They're just making it uh it, well, depending why you're getting it mastered, they're making it so it can be printed to vinyl because if your master is too dynamic um or too loud it, it it literally can't be pressed to vinyl yeah um or if you're mastering in the sense of uh cinema you'll be putting stuff in 5.1 and it's a lot more spatial things that you're doing their job is not to change how the song sounds it's no. like if they get five songs that are all meant to be on one album it's making sure that sonically they all connect yeah. it's not mastering engineer's job is not to fix your shit low end yeah that's that's the problem that a lot of yeah. people like oh, the ma fix it in post or mastering will fix it or whatever but no you need to get everything solid in your mix and big and wide and everything so the master can just come and maybe Listen. boost that volume a bit yeah and just yeah. uh go I've all you need my to master my master channel doesn't hold up my tracks as much as it used to it used to really You'd, you'd put like ozone on or whatever mark. turn the chain on and you go whoa yeah, yeah, yeah there's yeah. the song now it's um, more that... of a like oh that's just a little bit high end here a little bit high end there like just nice mono mono in your low signals and spreading the high ones a bit more and just more subtle stuff in it yeah um, so yeah maybe so ozone, ozone would probably would be, be best beginners for... beginners friend more than anything else but if, oh, don't don't just don't take our word for it mate if you want to learn how to mix with neutron do it like it's a decent piece of kit yeah They're so i was looking 11 quid <laughs> yeah i was looking the other day i don't know how much this is but there's um relay isotope relay oh yeah yeah this is their super utility isn't it yeah so i don't know how to find it on plugin boutique have they got it don't know if they've got it earlier you didn't um, have to find plug-in boutique <laughs> no um but what it does is it allows you to connect all of your other isotope products together so if you've got neutron on five different mm. uh channels you can use relay to talk to all of them mm. so you can cool. get you can get relay and you can be like oh nectar three on my vocals can you get out the way of nectar th of Neutron three on my guitar, mm. so you can literally That's just cool. uh, tell them so to talk the, to each other. Yeah, it's the AI mix spacing essentially. In a way, yeah, but you can then tell each thing what to talk to. So, um, oh, no. I was reading oh. about that earlier in the week. I think it's it's not a cheap one though. Let me see. Two hundred one hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, one hundred ninety nine dollars on the with the Insight two. Um, and then that's got it in it. Oh, that's that the also got... two's the actual utility, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I've gone full screen and broken everything somehow. <laughs> you haven't dropped your mic today. I did earlier. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. <laughs> One um, and then days. there's that. There's that and tonal balance control, which does the same thing. So you can uh, actually 
listen, have tonal balance control on your master and then get that to talk to, uh, you could like scan around and go, oh, my hi-hats are too heavy. Mm. And in tonal balance control, like on the drop down menu, you can select uh, neutron if that's on your hi-hats and deal with everything in this one kind of thing. So that's kind of interesting um, stuff that neither of us can actually play with. But, uh, yeah, but the next, if you, get, if you get these elements at the beginning of your kind of isotope journey, uh, there's a lot of things in there that you can uh, build upon to really yeah. get isotope taking Once control you get the of the mix. As well, you get the cross grains and stuff like that. Like you will get, you'll eventually get a really decent deal on one of their really highly yeah. paid products. And we have Black Friday coming up, so there should be a bunch more deals uh, yeah. coming up with all cool. of that. Black Friday after um, the summer of like, discounts that came with COVID anyway. <laughs> yeah. Giving it away. Giving it away, mate. Oh, no. Uh, but I've not seen anything I've not seen anything else really jumping out this week um, in the freebie section. No, I think uh, uh, the only other one that I saw, uh, I'll get my own little looker, looker upper. What was it? The Sonic seventy five percent off is the biggest, really. Yeah, yeah. That's like that's the hundreds of pounds saving that I've seen. Just taking a look. Yeah, I don't know if there is really. Oh, I did uh... see something that was a dollar, but I can't remember what it was. Pop up on my Facebook. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that. Plugin boutique's website is really, really strange on my mobile. I don't know why. Uh, oh. I'll have, a, I'll have a very quick look before we round off. And then I think we can make this a, a, just a nice round hour one. We've tested the green screens and they have worked. And now, if Yeah, we well, just, this, is, uh, this is what it's going to have to be for the rest of the well, month. This is the truth, isn't it, as well? Uh, and then uh, eventually we'll get back together and we'll have... Well, we'll I say the rest of the, the month, sofa. but the uh, furlough has been extended till March. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't apply for mm. any of that though. I can't get any of it. Like, oh, by the way, like, uh, so if you're uh, if you're wondering about like uh, in the UK, people talking about like being excluded from any kind of like assistance during this time, yeah, it's, uh, it's us as well. It's <laughs> us. <laughs> like, we, yeah. Because basically, in the UK, uh, if you dared to become a freelancer or a self-employed person uh in the last was it, is it within the last two years so you don't have books hmm. for the last two years uh yeah, yeah it is. You're, you are eligible for uh for nothing uh during this time <laughs> you can uh you can fucking die and uh the funniest thing is is our government is so malign and also so stupid that they every single time they are asked to increase the help they just give more money to the people they've already helped they don't seem to be able to get their head around the fact that they have missed out all of these people. Uh, so obviously, uh, like... Morph said that he still gets to go to college next week. Oh, really? So that's cool. That's opened up. Oh, that's decent. I'm glad that at least people can was... crack on with the education and stuff. I, I think he started all of that right at the beginning and then lockdown. Mm. I think he, got, yeah, he might have done yeah, yeah, one or two that. classes, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and then lockdown and then everything happened and blah, 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 blah. So mm. that's cool. That's starting up again. Yeah. That's no. something. Well, yeah, it seems like um, a sort of... Talking a about... Of a you just reminded me once one story. Talking about asking for one thing and getting another. We haven't spoken about Spotify. Oh, dude. <laughs> I've made a meme out of it, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, what the uh, fuck? What the fuck? Pay your artists even... more. Pay your artists more. We've got an idea. We're going to pay our artists less. Less. We're going to go less and... <laughs> We've heard you. We've heard what you've promoted. said. Yeah. We've heard what you've said. And we definitely think what you need is less money. The we thought is, that 0.04 cents per stream is too yeah. much. Yeah, too much. Too much. People listening to you. Your music's not worth that. I need to make that money. I need to give it to all my Did that really people. happen? Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it went all the way to the UK Parliament and they were uh, literally asked in Parliament uh, to increase the uh, streams. And obviously, because... Uh, we live in a society uh, where our gods are corporations rather than our actual governments or states. Uh, there's nothing that, that it, I mean, it just shows. The problem is, is I don't really care about the effect that much because obviously the streaming rate was so negligible anyway. It's not going to make me any poorer. Well, the, it, when we chatted about it, what they've actually yeah. done, annoyingly, we're both going to use. Like, Probably. so what they've done, if they've said, Look, we're going to give you less money for your streaming revenue, 
but yeah. we are going to put you algorithmically in more things. And you yeah. can opt out for this if you want, but because everyone will do it, if you opt out, you are going to be undiscoverable on SoundCloud. Yeah. Uh, so on Spotify, sorry. It's almost like... Uh, Everyone's going to do it, kind of so you have to do it. Yeah, it's a bit like a different kind of enforced pay law because if you have enough money to not care about your streaming rates, you can now just get free advertising. Yeah. So that's essentially, essentially it. If your streaming rates are just completely like you're comfortable enough and you don't rely on them, you're also now allowed free advertising. So it's just it's essentially just helping helping wealthy people again. It's all companies. Um, ever, it's all they ever do. It's literally their purpose. Yeah, <laughs> like, I just I messed up and said SoundCloud and Nafunk said is there. Oh, Spotify. Sorry, out Spotify. SoundCloud. I meant Spotify. We're talking about Spotify. But yes, there is money out of SoundCloud. It's a new thing that they've started up. Yeah, you need a pro account. Now. You need a pro account in order to do it. So you have to pay them seven pound a month in order to monetize. Mm. So there is, uh, uh, you, you need to get millions of plays for that yeah. to actually work out to not be still you spending money. Yeah. So essentially, the game the game is still up. Like there's still the, you always you still have to be making money other ways than your streams. Yeah. Uh, because the the world's not going to get any friendlier about this either. Like we've we've set up a society that literally survives and depends on, and its complete destruction will happen on if they don't continue paying these fat cats and destroying the worker. So this is just welcome to the everyone's new normal. Every single time something like this happens, it will never get any better, uh, and it just shows that because Spotify. Despite the fact that it's not that affecting actually to the person, because you're either too poor anyway, or you're rich enough not to care about it. Um, yeah. But it does show the future that we face, where you know, government bodies and you know, rights groups around the world demand that something is looked into, and a company is able to just do the polar opposite of it. And there's no, there's no like punishment for that or anything. There's nothing anyone can do about that. So it just shows, you know, when governments are telling you that they want to allow more big business in, perhaps it's not a fucking good idea. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry about that. Uh, Morph's just posted up uh, something that's free on Plugins Boutique. I'm pretty sure this has been free for quite a while now. The What's Voltage that? Modular Nucleus, the Cherry yeah, Audio. Yeah, I've actually had a play around with it now, and it is incredibly powerful for a free bit of kit. Yeah. I've seen people playing but around with it. It's a really decent introduction to modular synthesis, that. Uh, it doesn't overcomplicate things. It doesn't. You don't get stuck with like I do with modular sometimes, where I just feel like it's I've... it's the pluggy inny, isn't it? It's like yeah. it looks like the back of uh, uh, Reason used to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's cool. I really like it. I'm going to start trying to use it for a lot more stuff. I want to use it in my live performance more because uh, modular is really useful mm. for that because you have loads of different things set up with different automations and different sequences and stuff. So yeah, uh, Cherry Audio Voltage uh, Nucleus is probably that's been the best deal on I reckon on Plugin Boutique apart from the like flash ones for about two three months now. Uh, yeah, well, we were saying the other week, um, what was it? Cakewalk and uh, this modular nucleus. Uh, yeah. Reason you could get some of that. Reason Light was free. Yeah, like, MPC beats you, from MPC Akai. beats. You can sort out so much for free now if you're uh, if you're yeah. new to this. There's a you know, real big step up in the yeah, exactly. in your early early days. Oh, um, well, I think that brings us very very nicely around towards a roundup and a close. Uh, do you think? Um, yeah, pretty much just about. Um, Nafunk's just coming in. To say I'll be winging it from now anyway. <laughs> What's Nafunk said? You have. Um, he was saying too. about the yeah. Sorry, uh, he was saying that hopefully the global government will begin to shift more left, um, and and stuff like this might get sorted out. I really don't know. Like business, oh, I'm business. just not that positive. I don't think there's a left. There's no left anymore. <laughs> there is no there. left. There's just it is just elite and people. Uh, that's all it is and that's all it'll ever come down to now so hopefully the governments of the world will shift towards a more worker centric thing but I think left and right are just fallacies now um, so let's end it on a good note <laughs> um, yeah I don't know um, I don't and know. reason 9 reason light being free um, I don't know if it's still free but it was free let me just have a little look fucking collection reason light uh Uh, 
Oh, did you, I don't know if you can hear my stomach rumbling. Plugin Collective. Yeah, Plugin Collective members can have it free until the 19th of November. So uh, nice. if I can, if I can uh, pull this up. If I can pull this off. Am I some kind of genius? Where am I? Let me let me press loads of buttons. I might be able to pull this off. Hold on. I believe in you, man. There's a link. There's a link. Look, bam. I posted a link. I did it. Chat. Fucking did it. Yeah. Um, and what else? Morse just posted some other samples that are free. Glitch Glitch Machine Sci-Fi Bundle. Oh, the Glitch Machine's got a new bundle out. Oh, this is news. Machine Sci-Fi Bundle. Oh, it's not a free one, but it's another one that's uh, a bunch of samples from Glitch Machines. Nice. How much is it? That's oh, only 14 quid, though. It's 14 quid, yeah. 148 quid, apparently, if it was bought individually. So, what, so it's what a saving got? of £133.94. Thank you, Vimana, Biomorph, Microsphere, and Syndrome. I like all the pictures. It looks Did you just like, like it because it has his, his name in it, like Biomorph? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it's it. Like it looks all like... These. <laughs> looks all like sci-fi and nasty it's probably good yeah man the glitch uh, 32 machine gig some of my free uh favorite freeze 23 gig of hard drive space oof that's a lot of samples oof. oh you can see i'm going gradually redder now i'm without the led lights <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah it is so <laughs> it's, it's all that it's my one big uh, light that's doing all of my thing. I'll tell you what though, man. The little halogen lights, like I didn't have a chance to. Okay, so here's an admission. I did something dumb. Guess what? Wait, wait. <laughs> uh, so when these came, uh, they had caps on the batteries that stopped them connecting. So they only turned on when they were plugged in. So I was like, oh, these are rubbish. And I set them up so they were plugged in. And then obviously, when I took the batteries out this morning to have a look at them, the caps came off. And I was like, oh, no, these do actually work. So uh, thought, they're not rubbish i'm just silly yeah, yeah, yeah. so if i fully charge them <laughs> next time um and they they should they should stay on for a wee long while but they're on top of both of my studio monitors so they're bang facing the green screen um which appears to have worked but it's almost yeah definitely as well i think it's because i took that lampshade off mate that's not going back on <laughs> yeah as long as it's not burning your eyes I uh, I have the worst retinal scarring of anyone you'll ever know. <laughs> my eyes. I'm literally my... staring right at a fucking yeah, light. My so always looks like I've looked at a bright light. Like no matter what brightness it is, unless it's like super dim. Like if I'm looking in a in a normally lit room, if I turn my head, I get an after image of everything. I have done damage to my brain. <laughs> Um, there's a Black okay. Friday sale on the air stuff as well. You bought a bunch of that before, didn't you? you uh, well, it, it was an air thing. I got, uh, I think it's the multi tombral thing, the £3.95 thing. Oh, I remember last week we were talking about this because it was the Riser and Vacuum Pro and Hybrid 3. That's not what I got, though. I got something else. No, that's what we were talking about. Oh, right. No, right. <laughs> I don't know what you got. What did you get? I'm trying oh, to look. Oh, I don't know. Either. Uh, it was called it. Did you just say hybrid and that's why it's in my head? Yeah. Uh, Loom expand, expand. Is that the multi tombral that... one? Has it got uh... four bits in it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> looks like yeah. looks like something out of uh, Logic, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. Funny you should say it's an old Pro Tools eight plugin. Is it? Uh, they made it for Pro Tools eight, and then everyone really liked it as like just a really decent multi tombral like multi. Is that when? Is that when Pro Tools finally got VSTs? That's when Pro Tools were like, yeah, yeah, we're cool. And then like you tried to use their MIDI and it was like, you're not cool. <laughs> 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 Nothing about this is cool. I used that, what was their drum machine called? Boom? Nah. Was it? I don't know. And that was when I loved the Ultra Beat as well. And I was just like, what is this? Nah. Um, so, but this is really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, a, that's a complete turnaround. I think I might. So, yeah, have a look. Have a look at that if you're into any of the air stuff. Yeah. I think most people are really into air, aren't they? As a, yeah, as air is good stuff. for living. <laughs> right, so we got Adapter to Survive coming out on the 3rd. We've got Two Track Reload coming out on the 15th. We've got... Have you got anything planned? What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> Mix in. Mix in. You know, I've got, I've, got a, I've got four more videos in the... Um, 
well, I was Ableton say, deep dive the session. Of series, isn't it? And then I have a fifth special video at the end uh, planned. I'm oh, going to make gonna a, be, <laughs> I'm going to make a bass using every single Ableton effect. Every effect. Yeah. It's going to be probably and then a lot of them, horrible. It'll be like using every single effect and then using a lot of the effects again to control what you've just done. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm going to use every effect. I'm going to make it's just it's got to be it's like the best clickbait title, right? Yeah. I'll be there like this. Yeah. In the thumbnail, I made I made a base with every effect. Yeah, that's yeah. That, that will clickbait some people in. Do a yeah. Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> we should just end every Stugs cast like. Hey. I mean, yeah, it should tragedy. sound it should sound fat. It should sound right. fat. I reckon it will. So we trialled a new format. I think uh, I, I quite like it. I like the idea that we get a bit. I almost start interviewing you at some point. It's not been perfect, obviously. Um, well, but, obviously uh, not. Stunks cast. What do you expect? We do it like this, and then we split it the both ways, either side of the room, when we're here as well. I think it will be a really good program. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to be in a new studio next week. Next week, I'm going to be in my LA studio. So, yeah. Do come you know, on down. So nearly, Jeff, so... Jeff's going to come with me next week too. <laughs> you say to bye to Jeff and put him in the new studio. <laughs> he works on Pro Tools. I don't know why. I keep oh, telling no. him to move to. Oh, I bet he's got that fucking boom open, isn't he? He's just in there. I love eight oh eight and nothing else. Um, right. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we tried this. I think it looks really good. Sorry, I didn't sound very good. I don't know what the fuck's going on there. Uh, that seems to be something between OBS and Zoom that we might have to sort out. Your your yeah. mic nearly just went, didn't it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, releases. On it's because it's a dodgy mic stand that I built. It's like nice. <laughs> out of a actual... foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's a bunch of car body filler. That looks like metal. the majority of things that you make. To be honest, <laughs> that bizarre steampunk stuff. <laughs> right. Anyway, it let's works. do the roundup and get on out of here. Uh, so we are releasing on the 3rd of December and the 15th of uh, this month. We are basically just, we're rounding up the year now, aren't we? Taking yeah. stock, see what we've, uh, I mean, we've only got books since uh, April, which is why we are allowed to starve. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're just... But uh, uh, we're December, nice December marks our one year stock yeah, anniversary, yeah, so... Uh, the stonks anniversary when we first started making banging was back in December of 2019, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, December to... 9th, I think, is when it released. So oh, nice. Well, uh... And that's uh, that's sat there without us really doing any advertising and got us... yeah that banging will be just behind mindset on a thousand plays. So yeah, should be seeing that. And I think the new EP sounds much better. Mm -hmm. than that i think we've learned a lot this year yeah been at, in ableton a lot and uh just pushing 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 just for it you know improving improving spending every day at it isn't it i've That's got it. really good at social media Woo! <laughs> i feel like a man trapped in an iron mask when i'm on instagram i just want to <laughs> but i'm so nice so nice so if anyway, you've got us. Instagram's a... watching this. I am actually that nice. <laughs> you've got yeah, uh, you've so... got a good got over five hundred followers now on the Instagram. Yeah, you've and got... we're we're growing quickly now as well. That'll be a thousand, I think, within a month, maybe six weeks. We're a thousand on Facebook. Yeah, if we were to, if we were to take stock after a year of pushing this, it's it's been pretty good to be honest. Uh, we're well situated now with enough proofing and content etc etc if i put the twitter up a little bit i want to get the twitter to about 500 and then we can just reach out to companies do loads of collaborative work do all that boom, 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 and all that yeah work. it's one of the things that i would have liked to do if us. if we could go around more i would have liked to like go up to denmark street and try out some equipment and like yeah. just film that and do things but we can't really do that at the moment no our so, companies um... will just have to send it to us they'll have to send it to us yeah <laughs> see you later huh? send it to us <laughs> In, Hopefully, in better working condition than that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm not. Re I'm not ready to hate on it yet. I can't. I like it. I love it so much. It's Diddy. It was cheap, and if the drum pads work for another three hours, I will consider it, it a working model. I will consider this an anomalous occasion uh, because it was definitely mucking around, and I got video proof of it. That's good to do in video, isn't it? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Nice. So, uh, yeah, I've got video proof, and it was mucking around, but maybe it was just... I mean, those velocity-sensitive pressure pads are w differently built to, like, launch buttons and stuff, so maybe some junkum just got in one 
it started yeah. firing out stuff to all the others. They were all like, let's have a fucking party. And then when I put them away, they were like, oh shit, this guy's for real. We should chill out. So maybe I mean, what you've happened. said makes no sense, but I will roll with it. <laughs> yes. I feel like that's the most sense that, that I've made in this live stream. Maybe, <laughs> maybe and it made no sense. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we've hey, been hey, Stonks hey. cast. My name is Drum. His name is Bass. His Bass. <laughs> <laughs> and we make Ollie and James. <laughs> Perfect. We should try and do that. We should dress up as a drum and a bass hitter. And then we should try and make a track just out of noises of us. So it's drum and bass made. It's drum and bass making Ollie and James. I think next Stonks cast, episode 10, it will just be that. Is anyone okay. still watching? <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, uh, we tested out the visual side of it. We'll sort out the audio side mm, of it. Mm, and then we'll mm, actually... Mm. Uh, properly script this up we'll get some sections back in it a little bit more structure and stuff but i uh, i like what i see bang so thanks for putting yeah. up with us uh yeah thanks audience, thanks everyone and anyone else who watched uh it's been a lovely yeah. songs cast episode you got anything you want to enjoy your... you no just enjoy your sunday afternoons everybody right. i've got a uh, new mix that you need to listen to and let me know yeah, yeah, yeah. then I'm gonna uh, get my things on distro this afternoon and then i'm going we're to all sit good. and do nothing for a little while because I've yeah not i need to get on with some dinner days. do some coffee and stuff like that and then we're all good yeah i've not managed to eat today didn't do any of that just drank loads of coffee set up the green screen yeah, I know it's amazing. Like we, tr we truly, I, without exaggeration, we're Skoshima. probably easily doing sixteen hours a day in it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So uh, we'll catch up with it. all of you next time. I'll be streaming it on Tuesday. I will and be we'll streaming on Thursday. Mm, nice and one. We'll have videos see. on Wednesday and Friday. Come to chat. Uh -huh. Code UK. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye.